This is a Squiz podcast. We're your shortcut to being informed. Good morning, I'm Sam Ferris. And I'm Martin Gabor. And this is the Beijing Blitz, your quick news update every day of the Beijing Winter Olympics. Each day, the Beijing Blitz will look at the big moments, the key events coming up, and check out the medal tally. So let's get into it, starting with a look at the big news on the Beijing Bulletin. We start with the Beijing Bulletin, the big news from Beijing. Gabs, our Aussies just missed out on some medals yesterday. Yeah, Fez, it just wasn't their day. Laura Peel, she finished fifth in the women's aerials and the conditions, they were just about as tough as they come with high winds and snow swirling around in China. Now, Peel, she just couldn't land a jump in the super final and she said it was far from her best effort. Brianna Walker, she also finished fifth. That was in the women's monobob. She came back from 10th to be a chance of a medal with one run left, but she just couldn't quite sneak onto the podium and she missed out by zero. 0.43 seconds. Yeah, that's a, a whisker at those kind of speeds. Uh, so no medal, but it was Australia's best ever bobsleigh finish at an Olympics. Gabs, we've also got an update on a Russian Olympic Committee figure skater, Camilla Valieva. Yeah, we do. And she's been cleared to compete by the Court of Arbitration for Sport. Now, they said that even though she's tested positive for a banned substance, because she's so young, remember, she's only 15, she may not have known how she got the banned drug. And if they were to suspend her and later to be proven that she's innocent, it might cause her irreparable harm. What it means is she will compete in the women's singles figure skating and that's on later today. Yeah, and she's the favourite of the singles event and that one starts at 9 o'clock tonight. So Aussie Kalani Crane is also in that event, so look out for her. That's the Beijing Bulletin done. Now let's break down what's coming up later today. It's day 11 in Beijing. Gabs, we've got some Aussies going for gold today. We sure do, Fez. And first up, it's Tess Cody in the women's big air snowboard event. Now, if you remember, she's already won a bronze medal at these games in the slope style, and she is one of the best in the world in the big air event as well. Now, that's going to start at 12.30. And then we've also got Greta Small in the women's downhill skiing. You can catch that one from 2 p.m. Yeah, and if you're after something a little bit different, it's the final of the men's and women's team pursuit today. Lycra enthusiasts, <laughs> you're going to love this. <laughs> they absolutely will, Fez. And if my year eight science teacher has taught me anything, this one is all <laughs> about aerodynamics. So what it is, is teams of three skaters. They start at opposite sides of the racing track. The men, they race for eight laps and the women six. And it's the team that can complete the counterclockwise laps the fastest that will be declared the winner. There's often not much in these races. We're talking about hundreds, if not thousands of a second. And tactics do come into about who leads, when the skaters change over and things like that. Things getting technical in year eight science, <laughs> Gabs. Uh, I think I ever learned that stuff. Uh, it's on from 6.24 p.m. tonight, and I'll put a link to the men's final from four years ago to whet your appetite. It's pretty good to watch. All those times are Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Watch it all on Channel 7 and stream it on 7+. Plus. We finish off each Beijing Blitz with a look at the medal tally. Gabs, how's it looking? Yeah, Norway still on top with those nine gold medals, one ahead of Germany and two ahead of the US. Australia remain in 16th with one gold, two silver and one bronze medal. All right, that's it for us today on the Beijing Blitz. Don't forget to follow Sport Today in your favourite podcast app so you never miss an episode. And we'll catch you again tomorrow. Tomorrow.